What is up, guys? It is Failcraft. I'm going to be trying out this world. Um, it's called 15 Year Journey, and I assume it's going to be about Minecraft because, yeah, okay. I literally said, let's go at the end because I predicted it. This looks pretty good to play. Okay, let's. What? Yo, it's me! What the heck? What is this? Nah. What the heck? How did they do this animation, bruh? Nah, what the heck is this? This better not be like some stupid thing. But, um, check it out, rate it. That was really weird. Time flies, head into the museum to begin the celebration. Alright. Okay, music is video friendly. Okay, creators. It's probably for me, because I'm the goat. Yo, can I take this? Phantom taxes? No. Okay. Yo, what's up, party villager? Grand celebration of Minecraft's 15th birthday. Thrilled you're here to join the party. Inside you'll find games, surprises, and a nostalgic stroll down memory lane. Take a moment to read through signboards, wander through the garden, and when you're ready, hit it inside to kick off the adventure. Let's make the celebration unforgettable. Alright. Okay, you're really weird, but, um... Uh, check it out. Okay. Go subscribe to Orville Studios, whether this is good or not, because I don't know how they did the animation. That's good enough for me. Alright, oh, I do not want to mess with that guy. What are these animations, bro? What the heck? This is so weird. I can't jump in, are you kidding me? Get me in there. Review. Can I, I can't even do any of this. What the heck? Oh, crap, it's a Ravager. It's, are you trying to save him, or what? Can I hit you? Dang it. That would have been a terrible idea, but it's fine. Okay, we're gonna check inside the museum. Yo, this is crazy. What's up, homie G? Homie G1? Homie G2? Or the opposite? I don't know. What the heck? Okay, that, that the animations are crazy. Bro, what? Mm. What the hell? Oh my god, no way, yeah, yeah. Oh, why are my insides like that? My body hollow. Like what? Happy birthday, Minecraft. I don't know when Minecraft's birthday was, but... Sure. Orville Studios. Yeah, another intro. I no wonder this is 50 meg. This is like 50 megabytes. So. Sticker book. Yo! Every activity you complete. Did someone just explode? Okay. Um, every activity you complete rewards you with a sticker that will be added to your sticker book automatically. Keep an eye out and fill your collection. So what we show in a place where the sticker is collect. You can't take fall damage either. Oh, stop exploding, bro. What's up? What are they doing? Yo! Yo! Come on, bro. Oh, crap. Do I have to help you? Kill the kid. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, okay, whatever. Sure. Can I eat? Can I? I'd like to interrupt this meeting. I'm gonna look at you. Stupid. Oh! What the heck? That's not a cake. Oh, wait, never mind. He ate it. Oh! Stop it, bro. Tripping me out. What is happening, bro? This is not a party. What are you doing, bro? What is this game? What is this? What is this add on world? What the heck? Nah, let me go in there. Alright. Exploration. I'm gonna go in here, see what happens. Alright, let's check it out. Dang. Dang, bro, this is a crazy museum. Dude, how many... It's just, it's just like, endless stuff. Not endless, but, like, everything. Because that's insane. What happens if I just fall down there? That wouldn't be good. I'm gonna parkour. This is so cool. Okay, this is actually amazing. Nah, this is so cool. Punch to zoom. Oh. Yeah, I found one. Help. Alright. Gotta find another one. Find a llama, let's go. Alright, I gotta find another one. Oh, there it is. Bro, oh, he's right there. Yay! What the heck? That is so... 
All right. Let's go. I can just stare at the. What's up? This is really cool. Yeah, it's the desert. Why are you okay? Why is the sand like this? Desert. Yes, camels. Okay, this wallpaper is crazy cool. Okay, this is amazing. This pots. Why does this look so cool? Yo, security cams? Security cams is crazy. I, I assume it's shards, actually. Decorated pots are a great way to spruce up your interior design. Did you know that there are a total of 194,481 unique decorated pots that can be crafted? In Minecraft, bro? That's crazy. I thought we were talking about real life for a second. There's like infinite, though. Each of the four slots used to craft a decorated pot can consist of any one of the 20 pottery shreds in addition to the brick. Is it actually called pottery shreds? Because I have no idea. I've never done pottery in Minecraft. I didn't know you could just click on this and it would give info. Even though it has a big eye that obviously stands for info. Crafting from pottery shreds or bricks that... Oh. It's the same stuff. Are you kidding me? Game. What do you mean game? Game? I have to play a game. Okay, that looks fire. Okay. It's the same. It's the same stuff about pots. Um, I'm gonna go down here and see what happens. Oh, there's a freaking trash can. What the heck, bro? I didn't know you could click on this before. Meet the husk, a sunproof zombie that won't burn in the daylight. If that wasn't bad enough, you may one day stumble across a rare sighting: a baby husk riding an adult husk. I've never seen that. It's like a piggyback ride, but with more bite. Okay, okay. And don't let their size fool you. This little riders mean big trouble. Oh, we do. I hate husks. But they look cool. What's up? Nighttime tacos. Oh, that's so cool. Sticker collected camel. Oh, cool. I don't know why. Oh, the camel over there. This is so cool. Okay, camel. Meet the camel. Minecraft's two-seater ride. Standing tall at three blocks tall. Okay, you didn't have to say standing tall at three blocks tall, but it's fine. The camel keeps players high above the reach of melee mobs and can step over fences like they're just lines in the sand. With a jump that turns any obstacle into mere stepping stones, every ride is a humpback leap into adventure. Hop on's room for two. Nice. Alright. Llamas. Alright. What's up? What are you doing? You're just staring at it? Why the heck are you... Are you under arrest or something, bro? Dazzles with its layers of colorful clay, standing out as a favorite for travelers. Its large cliffs and valleys offer a wide array of building materials for the color-loving clay enthusiasts. It is also a great location to stock up on cacti. I don't like myself that much, but it looks really cool. Oh, it died? I didn't look in there. There's so much stuff, it's crazy. Alright, savannah. With its sprawling grasslands and acacia trees basking in the savannah's endless sunshine. Despite the arid climate, the savanna is a home to a plethora of species, including a unique armor-wearing critter a master at rolling into a ball for protection. It's probably, they're talking about the, what is it called? Oh yeah, yeah because our mild server had a bunch of armadillos, and it was in the savanna bottom, so. Why? I'm just saying random crap, I know what I'm talking about. Thriving in dim conditions, red mushrooms could sprout up into unex in unexpected places. Use bone meal on a mushroom to turn these tiny fungi into large tree-like structures, offering you shelter and effective mulch for your composter. Compost. I don't know. Alex and Steve, of course. One minute, thirty. What the, what the heck is this? I want to play a game. Mushroom madness. Nope. I hate games. I'm gonna lose. Time to zap lightning. What does that even mean? Bounce the red mushroom to reach the heights and harvest the power of lightning. to complete the solar dry challenge. Fast. If you guys want me to play the games, then you. You should probably like the video. If I get 10 likes on this video, which is like impossible for most of my videos, then yes, I will in fact uh, post a video of me just playing all these games. This is 50 megabytes, okay? You're ruining my computer. Do you not care? Mushroom man, this yeah, whatever. I'm just kidding. Mm. Nope. Not with a villager, bro. Chill. Chill out. So far, this is looking really good. Yep, once again, 10 likes in this video and I'll play the game. But that looks really cool. What is this? It's not doing anything? Oh, it's just a golden apple. I didn't realize. Alrighty. 
it's time to go to the other areas. That was only the desert, bro. Like, this is insane. So, dude, I forgot. What the heck? Yo, what's up, bro? That's nice looking. Was there any info things? I'm just gonna read about it. Jungle Temple. Jungle Temple lies in Nice. Alright. It's so loud, but, you know, it's fine. Yo, treasure map. Voice is going crazy right now. Alright, because I'm gonna exit. Alright, see. So that was exploration. That was really cool. I guess I'll go into another... I swear, I keep thinking we're in... Like, I'm in actual Minecraft when I hear the creeper noise. Okay, what is this? Oh, I know that's the entrance. Alright, I'm gonna go check out something else. Whatever this is. Did I just come from there? No. Alpha. Ooh, Alpha? Alright. Like, original Minecraft. Not original. Like, in-dev. Inf no, it was in-dev that was original. Alright, this is Alpha. I played on Alpha... Obviously, I was trash, but... Vanilla blocks loaded. Oh, so this is like normal Minecraft. But this is what it, what it looked like. You can't. But it's fine, if you can't. It's okay. Terrain Showcase. Alpha Minecraft, retroactively referred to as Minecraft Classic, marks the first phase of Minecraft's development where versions of the game were made available to the public. The Minecraft that first saw the light of the... Light of day may look drastically different from the Minecraft we know today. Yeah. However, the bright neon colored palette and, and iconic flat clouds will refer, forever remind us of where it all began. It does look pretty cool. Alrighty. Let's check out what this is. It's very dark and it's making me. Nah. Okay. I'm about to say that's too dark, bro. I'm sorry. And then the brown mushroom, red mushroom. Alright. Multiplayer test. These are the blocks added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft, which took place between May 31st and July 11th, 2009. Sweet. Oh, and I can take a little picture. Oh, wait, yes. Yes! Yeah. Oh, I moved. Take a pic. Right now. Dang, I look so hot as a creeper. Nah, wait, geez, tripping. Okay, I hit the wrong button and it ended my recording, so. Okay, I'm trying to... Frick. I messed up. Nah. Alright. Wait, wait, yes. Perfect. Is it F2? Nah, I don't know what picture it is. Did I already take a picture of me? How do I get out of here? Nah! Okay. Did I unlock any stickers? Because I don't know. Okay, I don't... Okay, alpha. Bring on the wool. The wool block was first added in the multiplayer test version of Minecraft during its introduction to the game on May 31st, 2009. It was originally known as Cloth. Fifteen years later, the array of colors has received new additions and some colors in the top row have been retired for a more refined palette. Alrighty. I don't know why I keep saying that. And blocks, maybe. And then I just... I don't know if all of them are designed or however they look. Okay, alpha. So I need to find an ender dragon egg. Okay. I forgot to read about this. <laughs> Pre-classic. Starting exactly fifteen years ago in May 2009, pre-classic Minecraft began its first development phase. This version predates Minecraft Classic. In this very initial stage of development, the game was originally called Cave Game. It was later renamed to Minecraft Order of the Stone before it finally adopting the name that would cement its 15-year legacy, Minecraft Coded. So, dirt block, grass block, um, wood, oak wood planks, and stone, and cobblestone. Sweet. Game. Let's, <laughs> let's check this out. Yes, okay, yeah. Did you know Creeper is created almost entirely by accident? Yeah. So I've heard about this. Originally it was supposed to be a pig, but when the model was being built, the height and weight width values were mistakenly swapped, resulting in it standing up vertically. Watch this poor pig morph into a creeper, mirroring Minecraft's most famous model mix-up. Yeah, did I come out the other way though? Oh, it doesn't matter. Crap. But what happens when I have I gone through here? Is it just the exit? That's just the exit. So I did not find the Ender Dragon egg. But there might be more that I have not found yet. Let's check this out. Dimensions, yes. Alright. Let's check it out. Yes. Okay, this is fire. Okay, let me... 
Is there anything I have to get? This guy in Lava Ridge. Is that supposed to be here? What? You just come back? Why the heck is this, is this there? Okay, it's the end. Okay, this is parkour. I'm obviously a parkour master. Okay, this is the nether. Yo, I actually need to get this. Nah, nah, nah. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. How do I get that? All right, let's read about this. Nether right. Netherite is the new diamond standard. This dark and mysterious material is forged from, ancient, forged from ancient debris found deep with the fires of the nether. Fashion it to the strongest tools, weapons, and armor, and you'll truly be, you'll be truly unstoppable. Alright. So, I hear some gas, which is cool. Whatever, but I want to get it. Do I like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go upstairs to check out this. Alchemy done. Alright, cool. Po poison. <laughs> potion brewing. Mastering the art of potions and alchemy can turn any humble adventurer into a potion. have to have that last line, but you know, it's Minecraft, so of course you did. Um, okay, that's a gas tier. That's, uh, what are they, frick, what are they called? Blaze thingies. Blaze rods. Um, nether wart. And then magma ball. I guess, I think. Brewing stand right there. Uh, sweet. Sweet. Right there, yeah. That's cool. That's the painting of a piglin. He's rich. Heck yeah, I respect rich piglins. Alright, now, I gotta snap a pick. Oh, yo, that's how I take a picture? Maybe on here. Because I'm that tall. Yes, I'm a gas. Alright. I got some picks, but I don't know where they go. Down here. Alright. Let's go to the end. Nah. My epic parkour skills. Oh, the sign fell over. That sucks. The sign was. Never mind. The, sign, the sign's been falling. Okay. I was like, bro. Can I just walk over? No. Wait, I gotta, I gotta do the perfect entrance. What the heck? Oh yes, grab it. I need to help him. I need that. I need that. Grab it. Yes. I'm just grabbing. Um. Uh. Uh. uh Help me! Help me! Oh yes, give me that. I can't take anything! Bro, I want that guy to get it and then for him to give it to me. I want to help him, bro. Okay, another game, once again, 10 likes. Okay. End Gateway, a portal to the furthest reaches of the end dimension. It's your ticket to exploring the outer islands where end cities float in the void. And Shulkers guard hidden treasures. Just toss an ender pull through and remember to aim carefully. You wouldn't want to miss and end up taking an un unintended dive into the void. Yep. That's the ultimate leap of faith which bridges and dangers and light on the other side. Yes. I don't even know how you get to it. Well, I know how you get to it, but I don't. You know. So much stuff. Elytra. The Elytra has players searching far and wide through the ominous end dimension, hunting with a solitary silhouette of an end city in hopes of finding the sought after treasure. Each end city bridge has a 12.5% of spawning a ship, which is the key to finding the Elytra. When you strap on those wings, you're not just conquering the skies, you're re rewriting the rules of gravity. Here's the flying high and landing soft. Alright, Alright, buddy. Oh, let's check this out. This is hurting my voice so bad. So please like and subscribe, please. Oh, that was a terrible picture. Come on. No, I can't even. How do you take up a good picture? My eye. I messed up when I made my skin, so I have to crouch. That's the best it gets, bro. Oh, that's, that's my giant forehead. Yes, take a picture of that. Place. I don't know how much more there is left. Okay, there's 
I think there's two more, because there's the water one, and then there's that one. 